<clears throat> hey, how's it going, everybody? And welcome back to uh, which channel is this? this? Is Big Ball Vlogs? So uh, welcome back to back to Big Ball Vlogs. And I, since I'm now trying to manage two channels, I'm going to try to do this without all the editing. So I'm going to try to do it straight through, six or seven minutes, talk about some droning, and hopefully I can post it directly to the channel. So the reason I wanted to post today is I just happened to be doing some, uh, you know, online research on drones, DJI, see if anything was going on because I'm not really the news guy. Uh, I'm the new release guy. But because there's no more, there haven't been any new releases, I got to get into news to kind of keep you abreast on what's going on in the drone industry. And I came across this article um, on a website, I guess it's called uh, DP Review. And it's actually about DJI. The headlines say, DJI Aeroscope Tech shares your drone ID and location with law enforcement. So you know that got my attention, right? I'm like, we are a community of not wanting to be policed and not wanting to be monitored, not wanting Big Brother to know all of our um, information. And we already knew DJI was kind of like working on this, right? DJI wants to stay ahead of uh, drone technology, plus kind of keep their market share and keep their, um, I guess, good standing with uh, law enforcement and, um, you know, maybe some of the government agencies because drones have become, as people say, a menace because you can fly one over uh, a, a prison and drop a shiv in or fly one into the freaking no-fly zone of uh, D.C. And, and cause a lot of problems. So, you know, if DJI wants to kind of stay ahead of that, they have to put some kind of security in so that you don't do those things. They tried registration through the FAA, then the FAA got that pull because they said that, hey, it was unlawful for the FAA to kind of monitor or make um, hobbyists register hobby drones or um, anybody who wasn't on a uh, Part 107 uh, commercial pilot to register their drones. And now you can walk into Best Buy and buy a drone without any registration. So I, I read terrible online. In fact, I read terrible probably period because I'm not the greatest reader. A little bit, bit of dyslexia, but yeah, like I said, here's the headlines. If I can get that to focus. And I'm going to try to paraphrase or give you the um, gist of this article so that you can go back and read it yourself. But apparently... It says DJI has launched a security solution enabling law enforcement and other authorized parties such as aerospace agencies to receive identification information and location data from your DJI drones while being operated nearby. So reading through this, what it says is that they're going to sell a package to maybe like the FAA or airports or local law enforcement that will pick up. Um, a signal from your drone when you start it. So when you start your drone, it's going to give off a signal, some kind of data signal, and anybody with this antenna can pick it up. So if you're a first responder and you got a guy with a drone flying around, you can look and see um, whose drone that is and probably go track them down. It does say that it's not going to give any personal information. It's going to give the registration information. So if you register this under... Uh, Buck Smith or something like that. It's going to go looking for Buck Smith because, as we all know, in order to fly a DJI drone, I think you just got to put some information in when you start up DJI Agro 4, and you are off and running. And it does not have to be the correct information. There's nothing. There's nothing to verify there. So, um, what I am kind of worried about is I end up having to uh, register a drone like you register one of these, right? Because you, we buy and sell these things, right? So then we buy it and then you sell it to someone else. I guess they got to kind of sign in too and re-register it because they wouldn't know your um, Go4 account. And maybe that will transfer that serial number to them instead of to you. But um, what I'm hoping is I've sold some drones online and what I'm hoping is that one day I don't get a knock on the door from the FBI or some government agency because somebody I sold a drone to did something stupid with it. So I kind of wanted to like, you know, let you guys know that there's some things going on out there. Maybe some of you guys have already heard about this. Maybe you have some kind of thoughts about it. I know a lot of guys have thought about jumping ship from DJI because DJI has done stuff like this. They've, they've already had this technology built in. Um, they've had technology that will definitely give you a location and definitely... Um, allow I guess what they call a backdoor into your drones data so that we can kind of tell where you've been and what you've been doing with it but uh it's out there now that you know they're going to give it to law enforcement so for you guys that don't like to follow the rules there's potential that you can actually get busted for it now I know there's a lot of I call them internet police guys that have commented on my 
channel about the things that I will do with my drone who are totally unaware of drone regulations. And I'm not even aware of all the drone regulations. I got uh, people who are uh, part 107 holders who kind of tell me what the law is. I'm like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. I, I read it a different way. Um, but there are some things that you just definitely cannot do with these things. And this is going to be able to allow the FAA and the government and law enforcement to police you guys who decide that you want to take your drone up to 15,000 feet. Guys that want to try to fly their drone over ball games when they're not supposed to. Guys that are going to try to fly their drones near, like within the shadow of an airport. Um, they're going to have your information and they're going to be able to track you down and slap a fine on you. And I'm not against that. Um, the thing that I have a problem with, and I'll show you, and again, I guess it comes with actually being um, a drone owner, is that it gets pretty hard to find a place to find your drone these days. So... For you guys, again, the guys who have policed me and thought that I was doing something that I shouldn't be doing with my drones, I do actually try to follow the law. I have posted up and have confessed to flying in a state park because I did not know and I didn't do my research correctly. But um, I do try to stay on top of where I should and should not be flying a drone. So downtown Wilmington, uh, around government buildings, over crowds, I don't do any of that stuff. Um, but here's what it looks like to try to fly your drone. This is a, the app that is, a, I'm going to do a, 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 another video after this showing you a cool app called, it's called AirMap. And what this air map does is it tells you all the places that you are restricted from flying. So if I can get that to focus, you see all those little dots? I'll get that. I'll pinch that in a little bit more. Let's see if I will focus on that because the refresh rate. Actually, I'm too far in. So I'll scroll out just a little bit more because I don't want to edit this thing. All these little dots are areas of caution. They're schools. They're heliports. A lot of them are heliports. They're airports. And if I go here, the cool thing about this is I didn't even know we had a state, a uh, national park in Delaware. But I can't, apparently near me somewhere is called uh, First State National Park. So when you look, if I look and I go a little bit closer, um, stuff like, I'm not, hold on, I'm not in Delaware anymore, sorry. I want to scroll back down, let me find Delaware, Jersey. Okay, so Delaware. I'm going to scroll into Delaware, and I am in this big orange circle right here. I am in within five miles of an airport, and what this app allows me to do is notify that airport that I'm going to fly because I don't have to actually get permission. You don't have to get permission unless you're a part one. Even if you're a part 107 holder, you don't have to get permission. You have to notify the local airport of your flight plan. This app will do that digitally. So I'll give you, I'll do a, a, another video about this. But what this allow, will allow you to do is if I'm near that airport, when I click on the hazards down here, it says um, airport. And it says accepts um, notifications digitally or something like that so all you got to do is hold down on the area that you want to fly and show your flight pattern which will give you like you got to explain what you're going to do i'm going to be flying 500 meter circles at 80 meters high and then you hit go and it will send a notification to the airport telling that you're flying your drone and that's all you got to do simple you don't have to ask for permission all you have to do is notify them i am on the outskirts of this so when i fly usually i'm right outside of that circle and I don't have to notify them all the time, but again, I am right across the street from uh, a hospital with a heliport. And as you can see on this one, you, maybe you can, the lighter circle outside of the darker orange circle is a zone for um, caution for heliports. The law isn't the same. You do not have to notify the heliport, but what you have to do is yield the right of way to the helicopter. Um, and you probably don't want to be flying over an airport anyway, because that would kind of be something like flying over an emergency situation, which you're not supposed to do. Um, but I don't do that. But what I do is I often go out in the front area here and maybe test my settings or test calibration or um, shoot a video, you know, not a fly around video, but a video of my local area. And I'm following the rules. So again, Sorry for getting off track on this again. I'm at nine minutes now, and I'm going to stop this and edit this video. Actually, not even edit the video. I'm just post it right up. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this new software that allows DJI to give your flight information and data directly to law enforcement? Um, do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think you're going to get rid of your DJI drones and go to something else? Um, I'm pretty sure... Many drone companies, if the government puts enough pressure on, are probably going to follow suit with DJI and turn over your data 
I'm not sure they will, I won't even I'm not even sure if they'll need a uh like a warrant or anything. They probably could just say, Hey, I got a drone here, who does it belong to and come track it down. So leave some comments below. Um and I will put a link to this uh article in my description below so you can go and take a look at it. Hey, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting this vlog. And if you really want to know anything about these things or you want to support me on my other channel, please go over and take a look at my other channel, Big Ball Shooting. I appreciate your uh support. I'll talk to you later. Bye.